So we are here today to lift up his name, to worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm just going to give you a word of encouragement and Pastor Michelle, and we're going to worship the Lord without, I know without a shadow of a doubt that revival has come. Is not, if it come, you know, those of you that have missed yesterday, you know, is the, the glory, the Shekinah glory of the Lord come down. Amen? And you know, one thing that the Lord is saying, you must be able to discern, to know when the Lord is about to move. Amen? You know, you know, the enemy has been robbing a lot of people, but you must discern. You will pray for the entire year and God just show up. When God is going to move, the enemy will try to get you distracted in every way for you not to receive. Amen? You know, we must at a place spiritually, physically, to receive from the Lord. Amen? He visit restoration yesterday, and he said it is the beginning of his power, his might, and his manifestation. Amen. Amen. He tell me today, he says, it's not if revival come. It is come. You know, some will feel, some will not feel if you're not feeling. The revival and what the Lord is doing now, then check yourself. Amen. Now, the scripture, I'm just going to go quickly. That the Lord gave me today, he said, uh, everybody know this scripture from time to time. I'll just give you some wisdom key. He said, Psalms 46, you can turn your Bible. I'll just tell you what the Lord said uh, prophetically. He said, uh, God, everybody just come closer. Different from the children. They can stay to the back, but just come closer. Amen. It said, God is our refuge. Everybody find it? If you find it, say amen. You find it? Psalms 46. This is the most popular Psalms within the Bible. Amen. Different from Psalm 91. Amen. Everybody find it? Everybody is here right now? Father, we thank you even now, Lord. We sprinkle the blood even now over each and every one mine. And we ask even now, Lord, that you are in our midst. And Holy Spirit, we honor you. We magnify you in this sanctuary. Amen. It said, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Amen. God uh, didn't say that trouble not going to come. Did he say that? Uh, did he say that? Not because you're a Christian. They're going to be trouble. They're going to be storm. You know, the children of Israel, they were building at the time, and the Assyrian, the Syrians, they came to attack during the time of Ezekiel. And, uh, you know, it said that this was written to comfort God's people. Amen? Not because we're Christian. We're going to go through battle. We're going to go through testing. We're going to go through storm. But it said, God is our refuge and strength. You know, each one of you know, refuge. When they speak about refugee status, is that go? Immigration, you have refugee status, they call it. Amen, that no one can trouble you. Amen? You are free. Your, your paper is signed and sealed. You know, you can be sent back to your country because God, you, you, are, you have refugee status. You know, a certain immunity. Amen? That has given to you. That's the same thing. The devil will, will attack. Storm will come. Betrayal will come. But he said, God is our refuge and strength. And strength means he strengthens us spiritually and he strengthens us physically when we are going through storm and we are going through discouragement. Amen? Amen? It said, therefore, everybody just lift your hand, lift your hand. No Leviathan will come inside you. Amen? Just focus. The blood of Jesus. Say it. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Come on. One thing that God wants, don't come in his presence if your mind is out there. That is why God can't move. Amen? You know, he's either we worship God or we don't worship him. Amen? Amen. It said, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the hurt 
will be removed though the mountain be carried in the midst of the sea it speaks about physical and spiritual earthquake amen what it means is that the devil himself can cause a natural disaster amen the book of Job read it he can call hurricane and he can call earthquake amen only god himself can prevent us from it the devil is not weak is a spiritual being only the lord can deal with that amen it also means that satan also can cause storm within your life and so therefore will not fear it doesn't matter what remove you no know, matter what mountain carry in the midst of the sea the devil can also bring plagues there are some country right now asian 80 and different places they are suffering from plague and psalm 91 speak to you about plague the enemy will want to be, bring plague Amen. But he said, though the water thereof roar, everybody see when the river or the sea it get rough. Amen. It said, when it roar, it said, though the mountain shake with the swelling thereof. Hmm. It doesn't matter what come. Amen. It does not matter what Satan does. The, the scripture was written because it was written that to show you that Satan has power too. But God of greater what? God of greater power what? But the, the verse in the scripture that the Holy Spirit has shown me. It said, therefore, there is a river. It doesn't matter whether it's witchcraft. It doesn't matter whether it's voodoo. It doesn't matter if it's financial things. It doesn't matter if it's attack. It doesn't matter whether it be physical or spiritual. The Bible specifically said there is a river. Everybody say it. There is a, there is a, there is a, there is a, a. It doesn't matter what seas, what wind, or what river. It doesn't matter if it's marine witchcraft, what enemy come with. Say it. There is a, there is a what? There is a what? And it said the stream, wherefore? shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the most high God. This river that he was speaking was the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter what storm, it doesn't matter what cloud, there is nothing greater than this river. And he said when the river start to flow, guess what, he said when it start to flow, whether it's from you, or whether it's from the tabernacle. In those days, it was speaking, that guess that there comes a time when there's a river going to flow. And when this river flow, it's going to flow to the Dead Sea. Everybody know about the Dead Sea in the Middle East? That everything dead, not true? But when this river flow, everything that dead going to be resurrected. When the river of the Holy Spirit flow, your finance going to come back. When it flow, hurt create going to stop. When it flow, your family going to be restored. When it flow, amen, going to be healing. When it flow, going to be deliverance. Because guess what? There is no power that greater than the Holy Spirit. And sometimes when the enemy is bringing on some wind, bringing on some stuff on you, the Lord wants to bring you higher. He wants to get deeper in the Lord. He wants to deeper in the Holy Spirit. This spirit, when it flow, everything going to come back to life. When it flow, everything going to be coming back to life. When it flow, it's going to flow in the community. It's going to be revival. When it flow, guess what? There is no effort from you. When it flow, program change. When it flow, repentance come. When it flow, revival come. And it's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. So come on, lift your hand and say it's flowing. Just stand and say it's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. When it flow, come on, stand. When it flow, it's gonna flow in your bank account. When it flow, it's gonna flow in your family. When it flow, it's gonna flow and wash away your enemy. When it flow, it's gonna turn things around. The Lord said to tell you, there's a river flowing. It's flowing for restoration. It's flowing to some people. It's flowing to your circumstances. It's flowing to your body. It's flowing to your soul. It's flowing to your family. It doesn't matter what wind, what storm from sea.
Satan. God said it's flowing. It's flowing. There's a river. The Holy Ghost is flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing your circumstances. It's flowing against witchcraft. It's flowing against voodoo. It's turning everything that dead. Guess what? Just keep standing. Just keep standing. You know, sometimes the enemy will attack you. A mountain will rise up. Wind will blow. And sometimes you hear the enemy said, yes, them dead. But when the river flow, everything resurrect. When it flow, everything turn around. When it flow, fire. When it flow, water. When it flow, healing. When it flow, deliverance. It flowing. It flowing. It flowing. It flowing. It, it said when it flow, Lord going to be exalting you. When it flow, ministry turn around. When it flow, earthquake stop. When it flow, things, miracles and signs and wonder. That is why God lifting up his people to the next level. When he lift you up, the things that become a mountain, no more. The things that become problem, nothing. When it flow, supernatural miracle. When it flow, miracles in every situation. Listen, it said. God, everybody say it is in the midst of her. Say God, God. is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. The heathen rage. The heathen rage. And kingdom remove. Listen, the heathen rage. You know, sometimes some stuff raging, not you? But when the river flow. And God wanted to flow. It flow yesterday. God had nine some people. Never, never before. He said when it flow. Whatever rage. He said the Eden rage. You know. Sometimes the enemy want to come different direction. It also means prophetically that there's going to be some country. That's going to come and want to surround Jerusalem. Want to surround Israel. Amen. But he said when the Eden rage. It means some enemy want to surround you. Whether it be bills. Whether it be spiritual or natural. But he said when the Eden rage. And the kingdom remove. He utter. Who utter? Who utter? Who utter? Who utter? You see a lot of us serve God. But we don't know the power of God. Not you? A lot of people are serving God. But guess what? If you don't know powerful the holy spirit is you need to seek him he said the heathen rage and the kingdom remove he utter his voice and the earth melt hold on there's a different will melt amen than when satan when he when he utter it's like volcano when he utter everything melt when he utter his voice everything melt around you he said the heathen rage and the kingdom remove he utter his voice and the earth melt. Amen. It doesn't matter what is coming to surround you. It doesn't matter whether spiritual or natural. When he utter his voice, it said, The Lord of hosts is with us. Everybody say it. Guess what? There are different names of God. Understand, people. That's why God wants to lift you to understand. Amen. When you pray to God, you must know which name to use. The Lord of hosts speak of battle. Not you? The Lord of hosts, the Captain General, is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God of what? Jacob. Is our what? The God of Jacob. Amen. Now, understand that when the Lord said Jacob, Jacob always refer to our past life. You know, when you walk in fear, he called you Jacob. But when you walk in faith, he said Israel. But what does that mean is that God people have been walking in faith. Boom, faith today. Boom, fear tomorrow. Boom, Israel today. Boom, Jacob tomorrow. Now decide whether you're Jacob or you're Israel. Are we what? We are what? Are we what? Are we what? Are we what? Yes, when Israel step back. In fear, God called him Jacob. But when you step forward in faith, he say, you're what? You're what? You're what? You're what? And he said, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. He said, come behold the works of the Lord, what desolate he has made in the earth. Amen. He make war to cease. Who make war to cease? Nobody can stop any war, even what's happening down there. Under who? 
No man can stop any war, whether spiritual or natural. Only God, he make war to cease unto the end of the earth. He break the bow of the enemy. Whatever bow the enemy is shooting after you, whatever bow he releasing after you said, he may break put the bows. He cut the spear in sunder. And he burn the chariot in fire. You understand the Holy Spirit. Amen. He make peace. He stop war. He break the bow. He burn the chariot in the fire. He said, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that what? It doesn't matter what situation is coming. Be still when God said, be still. He made everything. Sometimes people may say, where is God? Where is this? You know, but when the disciples were in the boat and the wind was at me and they cried, Where is Jesus? And Jesus was saying to them, Say, Guess what? If you have faith, you can speak to your star. Amen. What you need to understand, there's a difference with the gift than the anointing. The gift is not the anointing. They may have the gift, but the anointing is what comes through faith, through fire, through tribulation. The anointing. This is what God used for you to speak. When storm rise up and say, be still. I know that I am God. Be still. Come on. I know that I am God. Come on. Speak to your situation. Be still. I know that God is in you. Be still. I know that God is in you. Be still. Whatever enemy. Whatever earthquake. Whatever fire. Whatever water. Be still. Be still, be still, be still. It's not a gift. It's not a gift to step out of your seat. Come on. It's the power. It's the anointing. So be still. Be still. Be still. Be still to your bills. Be still to your family situation. Be still. Come on. So be still. No more baby Christian. So be still. Be still. Be still. When you speak to come on, be still. Don't cry, cry, baby, come on. So be still to the storm. Be still to your wind. Come on, come on, come on, worship him. Come on, worship him, worship him. Worship him. Come on, come on, whatever war, whatever war rise. So be still, be still. Whatever problems, whatever situation, so be still. Hold on, hold on. The stand, he said, be still. And no, listen, people. If you don't know the God you serve, very shortly you'll be swept away. I'm asking you. If you don't know the God you serve, you're going to backslide not asking I'm telling you if you don't know the Lord you serve you're gonna be swept away amen it said be still and know that I am God I will be exalted among the Edren amen I will be exalted among the Edren he said I will be exalted in the earth the Lord said I'm about to be exalted in your life Hallelujah. you don't understand did storm come in against you? Did wind come against you? Did fire come against you? Did Satan shaking some stuff? He said, I, the Lord, is about to be exalted in the life. I, the Lord, is about to be exalted in your ministry. I, the Lord, is about to be exalted in America. I, the Lord, is about to be exalted in the Middle East I the Lord is about to exalted in China I the Lord is about to exalted in Jamaica I the Lord is about to exalted in every situation I the Lord is about to exalted in the home I the Lord is about to exalted in your finance I the Lord is about to exalted in your family I the Lord is about to exalted in your enemy. Oh, 
I, the Lord, is about to exalt it. The enemy, when God speaks, he said, Be still. I, the Lord, is about to exalt it in Israel. I, the Lord, is about to exalt it in Jerusalem. I, the Lord, is about to exalt it in a nation that coming against Israel. And the Lord is about to exalt it in the people that is coming against my people. The spiritual Israel. I, the Lord, is about to exalt it in Zion. Understand? If you don't believe, don't say hallelujah. I'm not asking you. He said, there's a river. And this river is flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. Amen. There's a river. Because guess what? When the Holy Spirit start to flow, they don't need much human, physical, you know, in the body of Christ. We want to help God. We are doing too much physical stuff. You can't help God. Amen? You can't even change anybody. Amen? When the Holy Spirit flow, fire. When the Holy Spirit flow, water. When the Holy Spirit flow, change. When the Holy Spirit flow, miracle. When the Holy Spirit flow, signs. When the Holy Spirit flow, change. When the Holy Spirit flow, joy. When the Holy Spirit flow, peace. When the Holy Spirit flow, deliverance. When the Holy Spirit flow, every dead thing come back to life. When the Holy Spirit flow, and your children dead spiritually. God said, get ready for a resurrection. Of your husband dead spiritually. God said, get ready for a resurrection. Come on. Everything dead. In your finance dead. God said, get ready for revival. Anything dead. Come on. Come on. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on. Worship him. Worship him. It must be praise. It must be honor. Every storm. Every dead thing is coming back to life. Everything is about to be exalted in your bank account. It's about to be exalted in your ministry. It's about to be exalted in your home. Come on, come on, come on. Worship it, worship it. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Come on. There's going to be a change. Everybody's a change. Everybody's a change. Your circumstances, come on. Let's come out of your seat and just turn. Come on. There's going to be a turn. Come on. There's going to be a turn. The Lord said 360 degree. 360 degree. I hear your enemy crying out. I hear your enemy crying out. Because there's a river, the river is flowing, and God is hot in his voice. He said, Be still, be still, Leviathan, be still, serpent, be still, Jezebel, be still, be still, Lack, be still, poverty, be still, attack, be still, be still, be still, ever spirit, come on, be still, be still. Of the Old Testament, amen. 
You know that before you found the new life in Christ, there was an old life. We take what we got from the old life. Ask God, God, fix this. Is there anything in it you can use? And he'll use it. Let us continue. The word of the Lord in Psalm 147 says, Praise the Lord, for it is a good thing. It is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcasts of Israel. Any outcasts in the house? Well, you are now Israel, for you are in the house. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Every single one of us in this house had a wound. a man and a woman 
for the child to come forth. What am I saying? I'm saying that even before there is a connection, there is a blessing within you. He makes peace in your borders and fills you with the finest wheat. My God. Hallelujah. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. Say swiftly. Never said quickly. It never said fastly. It said swiftly. Swift meaning that it is so quick. You don't see it. Can you see where you are going to be a year from now? Can you see where you're going to be five years from now? But I tell you what, keep your eyes open and focus on God because it's, it's going to come swiftly. So swiftly that the pain and the hell you're going through now, you won't remember it. Some of us have come from or live in tropical countries. But his word says he gives snow like wool. And let me tell you, when the snow falls, it is a beautiful thing. And when it rests on the ground, it looks like a blanket covering the earth. And you would never know that underneath the snow is something dark and tough. And sometimes unwilling to yield. When the snow comes, it will eventually melt. When it melts, what does it become? Water. When it melts, it becomes water and flows like a river. So guess what? Not only is God allowing us to be blanketed by his blessings and his power and his love regardless of what the ground on the inside looks like regardless of how dirty it is he will blanket us with his love and his blessings and his mercy and his grace and even when we think that's all there is he will cause it to water our souls hallelujah he scatters the frost like ashes. He casts out his hail like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? My God, sometimes when it gets cold, you want to turn up the heater. If you could buy an electric blanket, you would. But guess what? If he says in his word, who can stand before his cold? Can I tell you that the cold can freeze, can kill? The cold can do that. Who can stand before our God? There is no one, and I repeat, no one who can bribe God against you. There is no one who can come to God and say, kill her. No, he is God. He takes orders from no man. But he will answer our requests. If our requests are in line with his purpose. Hallelujah. Say no one. No one. Hallelujah. Listen. He sends out his word and melts them. Ha. And he causes, now this is my favorite part. 
He causes his wind to blow and the waters to flow. He causes what? His wind! Did you get it? He causes whose wind? Whose wind? Whose wind? His wind! Hold up! Is there anyone who has had a tornado in their life? going on through 2010, 2009, 2008. Has anybody had a hurricane in their lives to date? Well, the Lord sent me here tonight to tell you, you who can see me, you who can hear me, he is about to cause his wind. anything but guess what God has put a stop on all the figuring all the assuming all the every kind of things God says in his word he declares his word to Jacob and his statutes and his judgments to Israel if you want to remain Jacob then remain Jacob but if I were you, I would seek to find what his statutes and judgments are because that's what he says to Israel. Israel is the one that has been changed from Jacob to Israel. From before wrestling with God to after wrestling with God. And when Jacob wrestled with God, he said what?
feel a fresh wind blowing in my spirit man and I know that I know that I know it's gonna manifest everything he said it's gonna manifest now listen ensure you are on the right side Ensure you're in the camp. Ensure you are where you need to be, Israel. Because when the wind blows, don't look for seconds. Five wise, five foolish. Who are you? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we're going to serve him in spirit and in truth. In Acts 2. The word of God says they were all with one accord in one place. Are we in one place right now? Are we on one accord right now? Ha. And suddenly... Suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. I said, his wind is about to blow in your life. One accord in one place. There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Hallelujah. Yes. Blow, blow, blow wind. Lord, blow your wind. 
Shata. Every transaction in our favor. Blow, wind, blow. Now. Koshanda Baha. Too many influences influencing people against us, influencing situations against us. Guess what? We are on the Lord's side. And if God is with us and the wind is about to blow, it's not going to blow us over. It's going to take care of the enemies. Huh. Oh my God. Anybody wants to get rid of some garbage? Listen. There was a time we would have our garbage bags and garbage inside the house. We are told they will only pick up the garbage on Wednesdays and Saturdays or Thursdays and Tuesdays. But all the time it's in the house, it's smelling up the place. Does anybody have any smelly garbage to get rid of? Then say, blow, wind, blow. blow, wind, blow. Hallelujah. Listen, there is nothing worse than having to lock up the house with garbage in it and come home. Open the door. Only to have the putrid aroma of garbage hit your face. Say blow, wind, blow! Listen. My God. Boy, the wind is blowing, but it sounds like the rain is about to fall. Rain, rain. Listen. I want to tell you one more thing. You have the mind of Christ. If you have the mind of Christ, then you have a sound mind. If you have a sound mind, then everything else will fall into place as being sound. Therefore, you will have a sound body. For the mind of Christ says, I am healed. No matter what you say, I am healed. Then your circumstances will begin to line up. Because then guess what? As your physical body begins to line up because you are, have the mind of Christ, then you are able to do things that you would not normally do. Why? Because you now have the stamina and the strength to accomplish much more. The mind of Christ causes you to accomplish so much. Say, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, body, line up in Jesus' name. No more headache. No more neck ache. No more back ache. No more foot ache. No more hmm ache. I am healed. I am healed. No fibroids, no prostate cancer, no colon cancer, no skin cancer, no brain cancer, no cancer. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. I am healed. Why are you healed? Because the wind is blowing. Hallelujah. Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Do you feel it on your inside? God is about to do something. I prophesy that tomorrow, this time, each and every person in this place, each and every person that can hear my voice, each and every person that can see this face, you will have a report of victory tomorrow.
World Outreach Ministries and I want to thank you for joining us today. You now have the opportunity to be a part of something spectacular and life-changing. We want to let you know that you can come and share with us in our services at 1649 South 21st Avenue here in Hollywood, Florida. Our services on Sundays begin at 10 a.m. So be on time but most of all be there. 
Now, if you're in the neighborhood on Wednesday evenings at about 9 o'clock, you can come and join us for the School of the Prophets, where the word is broken down and you can apply it to daily life. So we're looking forward to seeing you there. Now, I also want to let you know that there are several opportunities for you and your family to be a part of this ministry. You can call us and you can fax us and you can email us. Here's our information. You can call us at 954-237-5058 so that we can pray with you and we can also counsel you in the areas that you need help. Email your prayer requests and your praise reports at rwominc at yahoo.com. And please, ensure that you visit our website you can come to www.rwominc.com. We also want to let you know about an outreach ministry that is truly reaching out. It's called Romy's Hands. And we have a program that feeds the poor and goes into homes to minister and to encourage those who are lonely and lost and need support. So you have an opportunity to be a part of something truly amazing. And I want to let you know that you can visit our website at www.rwominc.com. You can click on the donate button and I implore you, feel free to donate to these ministries because they're doing wonderful things and reaching so many. We appreciate your support. Remember, donate, donate, donate. <laughs>